This is my last day with the Bintac M car. Unfortunately, I have to send it out after I'm done with this video. I was hoping to get out to some greater distances, 200, 300 yards, but unfortunately I wasn't able to do that. In my first two videos, I went over the details and the specifications as much as I know for this M car. In this video, I want to at least focus more on those 100 yard groups. But first, I have some old cutting boards we got rid of. I split some playing cards in half the first time I used this. Let's try and split some cutting boards in half. <laughs> A big thank you to Tom at Bluegrass Big Boar for sending out this Bintac M car for me to try out today. We have Texoma Precision Pellet 300 grain slugs for today. All right, let's see how this goes with a single cutting board. If this starts to like deflect off and start to ricochet, we'll line up a couple more. I have three of them total. So if we need a little bit thicker, we're going thicker. All right, we took a chunk out of it. Let's continue. That was not the split I was expecting. <laughs> Let me go check that out. All right, so without a doubt, I can tell you that I was not expecting that. Let's split this in half sideways. All right, maybe this will go quicker than I expected. I don't know what I was expecting from these, but my guess was not that it was going to detonate. These things detonate. <laughs> All right, let's move to 100 yards, do some groups. We're stepped up to 100 yards. We got this Texoma Precision Pellet 300 grain slugs. I wanna do a good amount of groups with this, see what we get. And then I actually might break out my Griffin 290 grain bow tails. I feel like the barrel got leaded as I was shooting it. And then over time, it's been doing better with different rounds that to be honest, weren't doing that great to begin with. Let's do some of these groups with those pellets and then we'll move on to the Griffin boat tails. I'm gonna still aim center bullseye. I'm not gonna touch anything. We're just going for groups. I adjust the scope. We're gonna go for center bullseye again, see where it lands. I've been going over in the comments discussing what could be the cause of some of these flyers. There could be internal air bubbles in the bore diameter. I'm also being told these are 457, but 459 might also work better. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't hold me to it. I'm not gonna adjust the scope. Let's go for that far right center line. Far left center line. That was exactly where I was aiming. Scope seems to be adjusted now. Don't ask, because I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna put a cup more in this group. Let's go for that top middle headshot. Let's do two more in this group. So we were up just a little bit, then we were up and right, then we put a hole and hole in the up and right, and then we put a hole through the first hole. Let's put at least two more in this. I'm gonna go clean out the barrel real quick, and then we're gonna do a couple more groups of this, and then I'm gonna go to the Griffin bow tails. Barrel is clean. Unfortunately, it was not very dirty. I have the chronograph out now just to make sure, but let's go for that middle target with the TPP slugs and retry. All right, I like that. Let's do that again, knock on wood. See, I jinxed myself. Two more in that group. Then I want to try the Griffin bow tails real quick. All right, let's try some of these Griffin bow tails. Velocity is incredibly consistent. 891 feet per second, we were getting duplicates. Let's go for that top middle headshot. That last round was exactly where I was pointing at. All right, three more of these. Then I wanna try the 350 grain bow tails. Let's go top left headshot. Two more, because it just begs the question if we're gonna keep going in that one group. I need to know. All right, we got three stacked in there pretty decent. I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going until I get a flyer. 
That's four pretty much stacked on top of one another. This is exactly what I was doing with that bin tack ammo. I put like 10 or 12 rounds all on top of one another. All right, this was not the plan. But if you know me, my plans rapidly change. <laughs> all right, we'll call it there. Right after I dump all the ammo into the box. Let me grab the 350 grainers. Let's retry this. I wasn't even expecting to do different types of ammo, but it just begs the question, considering this is the last video I have with this. All right, we got the 350 grainers, and then I have the bin tank ammo. Bump this up because we got an extra 50 grains. Go for the center target. We're gonna go for that far right middle line. Let's go for the top right headshot. All right, scope is bumped up a tiny little bit. I wanna hit that bullseye. Two more. I brought out the Bintac ammo, so let's switch to that after this. Just like those other boat tails, let's keep going until we get a flyer. All of these rounds have been within 10 feet per second of one another. These things are doing really good right now. Knock on wood. That was actually pretty impressive with this ammo. Let's try the Bintac. All right, Bintac ammo's up. 337 grain rounds. I have the dueling tree obstructing some of my vision on that target, so bear with me. Let's go for that middle bullseye. Let's go for that same exact hole. All right, let's scratch that first group since I was setting in. Let's go for top left headshot. All right, top middle headshot. See, the thing with these groups that makes it hard for me to adjust is because I want to go up one and then to the right one but then I get those groups that are up high into the right. But I feel like my first group is probably the more accurate assessment for what my group should be and where it's landing. So let's finish off. We'll do that top right head shot. All right, we went down one into the left three. All right, up two and right two. We're, we're not gonna stop till we hit this freaking bullseye and then put 10 rounds to the same hole. Up one, right one. All right, I'm gonna call it there. I wish I had a conclusion on what the best round for this is, but I honestly couldn't tell you. I think there's just variations in the ammo that need to be corrected before I can actually come down with a final answer on that. We get really nice consistent groups and then we get flyers. Those 350 grain boat tails were actually doing really good today. I was very impressed. I just wish I had conclusive answers, but I don't. And unfortunately, this is the last video I have with this for now, so I'll have to leave you off with that. All right, see ya.